Hello everybody, I'm back from my hiatus from Minecraft. I got a bit bored with uh, Minecraft a while back, especially when after building a complicated station, I had to rework it because the rules of minecarts changed. So I figured I'd let the dust settle and let Notch make his changes, which seemed to be alright, uh, and take a look at uh, a couple of the redstone things in the meantime. So I'm looking at a series of projects that I have here. Uh, as you see, I've, I've been somewhat busy. And I've been working on a new destination selector. So historically, the most compact destination selectors is what we see in front of us. Uh, Logic by uh, Rankin, uh, Zorak, Angel Mapper, blah. It's all in there. And it's very optimized. But what you'll see is that even for this many destinations, and this is what, uh, 10, uh, there are buttons in a single row and indicator lights in a single row, and then space in the middle for putting, say, signage to Delta destinations. And as you click one, it resets all the other ones so that your indicator light always shows the destination selected. This is fine, except for what if I want to have more destinations? This is a lot of space on my uh, my area for my uh, train station. When I look at this, I think, gee, how am I going to fit that in there? So let's take a look at something that I did. So in this design, I basically take what they have there on the bottom, and then I add in some components on the top. And it's difficult to show exactly all the details, but uh, I'll show you how it works. So there's indicator lights on the bottom, which you stand above in the glass. You could also pipe them so that they're sitting on the floor here, uh, but I just didn't like things in, in on the floor. Uh, the indicator lights are on the top as well, but you see here there's two rows of buttons. And so these all interact the same way and they reset top to bottom and so you can select different destinations. So what happens when I add more? We just basically get more buttons. I added some wood just to increase the contrast on the buttons. But basically you have different destinations and once again it just selects in between. But instead of taking 12 spaces I now take it 6. So there's 12 destinations here but there's only six spots on my station. So now my floor can be compact, but all the electric circuits can be shoved somewhere where I don't care, outside of my mind. So I can go bigger. So here's 16. Uh, I had to back up a little bit just to put it all in view. But basically, you could look at this and say, all, see all your destinations. If you had 16 in a row, uh, you'd have to walk up and down, uh, so it's really just a matter of convenience. So here, the indicator lights work the same. And so on and so forth. Now to get a, a one this large, since it is uh, relatively large, I had to loop in the reset on either side. So basically the reset is a circular loop throughout the, uh, the bit and on either side there are these, uh, these un things that you need to keep. These wires that connect reset to reset from the top to the bottom. Now let's take a look at a more complicated one. So here's an example where I put this to the extreme. So here's a panel where I have 16 destinations all ready to go and it interacts as before but what happens when I tie it to another one tying the reset loops with a two-way repeater or I tie it to another one and I tie that one to another one now we have 64 destinations 16 on each panel and now I can basically sit this somewhere in the middle of my server and I'll never run out of destinations I'll only run out of patience to lay track, or even more so patience to mine iron to fuel the system. So, this is taking it to the extreme. So I can press any button, and all panels will reset. So the light over there reset, 
This light's selected. That destination's selected. That panel's reset. Destination selected. They're all reset. And so on and so forth. I could sit here all day and then just choose different destinations. But I don't know what crazy nut job would ever want to have 64 destinations. Who knows? So what I'll do is I'll include a schematic and a diagram or blueprint for the two different slices that you alternate to make this, this system. And I'll include schematics for these different ones in a, as well as the world with them in it so you can safely play with them and see if you want to use them. But basically, uh, these are done, and next step, uh, the next part of the main station. So stay tuned. Alright, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.